restaurants, and we're here at the Ashley's Beer Brewery Throwdown. And I'm with Arcadia Brewer, uh, Casey Maxwell. So, Casey, thanks for coming by tonight. Thank you. Tell us about the beers you brought with us tonight. Absolutely. Well, we'll start from uh, from right to left, or uh, left to right, maybe, on your uh, viewing dial. Um, first, we start out with Beecraft Black. This beer I hold uh, a little near and dear to my heart. One of my favorite Michigan brewers, it was kind of his going away present. Uh, he had, uh, had really wanted to do a black IPA and had voiced the opinion prior to leaving Arcadia to move to California um, and start brewing out there at Modesto. His name's Kevin Beecraft, hence the name Beecraft Black Double IPA. Uh, but he had voiced the opinion of wanting to do a black IPA and as kind of his going away present, Josh Davies, our head brewer, and put together a recipe for them to brew as his last ale in Arcadia. Um, and this is what they came up with. It's a nice, roasty, malty, chocolatey, hoppy, black double IPA. So it's kind of the happy marriage of a stout and a double IPA all in one. Well, I had one of these earlier, and it's a wonderfully tasty beer, and it's only available on rack. As of now, only available on draft. Uh, we are in the process of working on a package design to release this beer as a four pack bottle as well. Um, but what, no, not yet available. If you, you need to come to either Ashley's or some other good bar you to do. find this place. You do. In fact, uh, Ashley's is responsible for this beer even ever being made for a second time. Uh, we did an event, and I brought Tim Surprise, our owner, proprietor, president. Um, so Ashley's in Ann Arbor, we did an 18 tap night of Arcadia beers. This was one of the beers we had on. Monica at Ashley's in Ann Arbor loved the beer so much. The customers at Ashley's in Ann Arbor loved the beer so much that Monica had asked him to bring this beer back as an everyday beer and she would put it on the regular menu. Initially this was a going away present, a one time only beer. Because of Ashley's, because of Monica, this is became a regular beer in our menu, in part because of the love that the customers have had for this beer, and in part because of us and the brewery's love for, for this beer as well. And you need to get it while it's available. What do we have here next? Nut Brown Ale. Next we have Nut Brown Ale. Nut Brown's our winter seasonal. Easy drinking brown ale, very malty, um, for the beer geeks that like descriptions. A uh, little, little toasty, a little biscuity, uh, but very heavily relying on the malt side of the character. Not much hop side to it, uh, very malty, very sweet, just a really nice English style brown ale. Uh, this nice drinking, just under 6% alcohol, so you can have a few of these and enjoy it as a, as a lighter style winter warm beer. Next, we've got the Hot Mouth. Next is Hot Mouth. Um, actually, my introduction, not necessarily just my introduction, but my transformation over into becoming an IPA lover in beer. Uh, when I interviewed with Arcadia, there was uh, a request I had made to Rick Suarez, our vice president, after my interview of, of what beer differentiated Arcadia from other beers, uh, Michigan beers and craft beers, in the market. And this beer is the only double IPA currently made year-round in Michigan. And this is what Rick said that differentiated them. At the time, I wasn't a huge IPA fan. I went home, took a growler home with this beer after the interview I had. Uh, immediately, I you with I, yeah, this beer. I like uh, that. immediately drank the entire growler of Hot Mouth, which oh, at eight percent is not an easy task. But you were up to it. I mean, it, you, know, you, you take a challenge on it, and you'll go for it. Absolutely, and, and with with the, the need, the want for the new job, and, and uh, you know, kind of the love for Arcadia, I took on the test, drank the beer, instantly from that day forward, have been not just an IPA lover, but a big IPA lover. Well, what sets this apart from the other IPAs that are out there? You know, it is a hot, rich IPA. It's it's a hot, rich IPA, uh, but it's also a very, very well balanced. Uh, two things in this beer. One, like I said before, is the only double IPA that's produced annually in Michigan. Secondly, we use a Marisotter malt for this beer. Uh, those not familiar with the Marisotter malt, it is a, a malt that was primarily made for cast ale in England. Now, in doing so with this beer, also it is the highest quality malt that's produced in the world in some aspects, uh, some people would say. 
That gives it a very, very nice, rich malt character that helps to balance out the hops. It is a, it is a large IPA. It's 85 IBUs, 8.1, 8.2 range in, uh, in alcohol content. So it's a big, bold, double IPA, but very drinkable, very well balanced for the style that it is in comparison to my Actually, I started my evening out on this one. Comes a little IPA. Tell me about it. IPA. The Rapunzel, yeah, not, not a lot of people make a weed IPA. Um, you've seen it uh, a little more so here and there throughout the last few years uh, with the growing the craft beer industry. But what we wanted to do, I mean, what Josh was aiming for when Josh Davies made this beer initially a couple of years ago was to kind of highlight the hop characters of the beer. So the wheat, as we get used to in the summertime, we like wheat beers, a lighter beer style, um, something that we can drink, not a whole lot of body to it, but also something in this beer in particular that accentuates the hop character. So you get a nice citrusy, uh, nice palate on the hops that really finishes smoothly with not a lot of interference from the hops, where, like you said before, it's a well-balanced double IPA with a hop mouth. This beer uses the wheat to kind of tone down the body and also highlight what we love in that beer, and that's the hops and the citrus characters in that beer. Well, I had it with uh, some mussels uh, on our menu, and it just paired up very nicely with yeah. the seafood and, and without overpowering the food. How's life at, at, at Arcadia these days? What's going on in Arcadia? You said 10,000 barrels of this? It made as much as you can make. Things at Arcadia are phenomenal. Uh, Last year we actually had to pull out of some states due to, due to capacity. For the most part, our brewers are working nonstop around the clock. Uh, we pulled out of six states, and even so with pulling out of six states, due to our demand and our great distributors in Michigan, we still grew at 30%. So find me another company that can eliminate business and still grow at at a phenomenal rate, and that 30% is on top of 40%. Well, and what, what it's about, too, is you guys don't sacrifice quality in one thing. That's the nice reason nice why we appreciate the Mr. Beers. Well, Casey, we appreciate you here tonight. We, our customers really appreciate it. Now we get to sample some of these beers. Absolutely. Roy Martin, thanks for, for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me out, and uh, we appreciate everyone that came out for the event tonight. Cheers.